Dante, can you kind of speak to the emotion at, at the beginning of the game when, you know, the seniors were kind of honored there at center court? Uh, you know, some guys first time, some guys second. You know, I'm not no uh, newcomer to the senior night I did it last year. But for some of the uh, new guys that's done it, you know, I feel like it was a special moment for them. It's a milestone in your life that you uh, don't really get too many times. But, you know, you, you'll be lucky if you get it twice. So. What, what kind of comes to your mind when you think about playing here and, and how special it was for you? Uh, family, uh, love, you know. No matter the ups and downs, you know, still have people on the stands. You know, season may not go the way you wanted to go, and it didn't. But, you know, fans still came out to support us, and we appreciate that. The ones who stayed true, we appreciate them. And, uh, you know, it's nothing but love. Coach Will was talking about transition defense allowing Indiana, on your part, allowing Indiana to come back. What were kind of your thoughts about the breakdowns after you guys were up 16? Uh, I feel like it was some things that we – then uh, gather up and uh, adjust too quick, but uh, they took advantage of that. And uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to who's making shots and who's getting stops. And I feel like we didn't get enough stops uh, in the transition airport. Uh, I know we didn't really stress as much uh, that they really get out in transition. Uh, but, you know, they made shots and we uh, fell short of making shots uh, later in the game. And that's what really kind of got us stuck. So. Yeah, speaking about the the first half, um, you know, it seemed like you guys were really keyed in on the offensive end, um, some of your best basketball at least of of late. Uh, what what do you think allowed that success, and you know, for you especially? I just feel like we uh, was getting the ball popping and made the right reads. You know, we had a lot of guys that were being a lot aggressive, uh, aggressive, and uh, I feel like that's what really uh, made our defense click. I mean, our offense click, and. Um, that was kind of a little bit different in the second half where we uh, wasn't as aggressive. And I feel like that kind of hurt us. And then when we was shooting our threes and stuff like that, we kind of fell short of that. So, And for either you or Jameer, um, just speaking to Khalil Ware's presence down low, it seemed like especially in that second half, he was giving you guys a lot of trouble near the rim. Um, can you just speak to that and you know how he kind of changed the dynamic of the game? Yeah, I mean, early on we was able to get to the rim. Um, so I, I feel like they they told him to just try to contest shots, try to just be big in there and, you know, use his length. So um, it definitely disrupted us in the second half, and it showed. Jameer, what were the emotions like for you on, on senior day at, you know, the pregame ceremony at your home hometown school and all that that goes with it? Uh, I mean, just looking up and seeing, you know, some so many of my friends and family in the stands, it was, it was great to see that. And, you know, just trying to take it all in. Um, you know, last time on this floor. So I'm um, just grateful and thankful and um, I'm just excited for what the future holds. As not to this, but for you, what kind of what comes to mind about playing here and what's made it special for you the past couple of seasons? Yeah, just the long line of uh, Maryland greats come to mind and, you know, just the support Turb Nation gives us, um, has given us every game and, you know, we're just so thankful for them. Um, Jameer, just from your perspective, uh, Willard kind of mentioned the transition defense in the second half kind of causing um, a bit of the, the, a couple of the issues. Um, from your perspective, what really changed in that second half to allow them to score, you know, 50 points? Yeah, I mean, our turnovers, um, you know, it doesn't put us in position to get back fast enough. And, you know, depending on where we turn the ball over, it's hard to get back. And, you know, they uh, made an emphasis to, you know, run the floor. And, you know, they would get three guys up um, and try to get easy ones. So that definitely hurt us in the second half. Um, um, and that was the difference maker. Jameer or Dante, what made it so hard to defend Mbaku, especially in that second half? He had a career high 24 points. Yeah, I mean, he he got hot um, from three, um, and we did it uh, didn't do a good job of you know in transition defense finding him early and you know taking away uh, his three. So um, he had a great game, um, and you know he was a great shooter. So um, hats off to him. And then one one more for me, Coach Willard has talked about you know not letting that the misses on the three-point makes really affect you on the other end and not getting your head. What needs to change in order to try to gain some confidence back when shooting threes? Um, it's really just, uh, you know, like you said, not getting in our heads. Um, we're all 
good shooters. We all knocking them down in warm-ups and in practice. So um, it's, I'm sure it's going to translate. Um, we just got to stay confident, stay level, um, and stay positive. Anything else? Mickey, last one. Yeah. Um, for, for both of you, just heading into this uh, last week of the regular season, obviously kind of a weird bye week, and then heading into the, the postseason, um, is there anything you guys will be kind of working on or focusing on during this bye week to get to the, the, the last regular season game and then heading into the Big Ten tournament? Um, just, uh, you know, getting back and, uh, you know, keeping our minds <coughs> keeping our minds and our spirits up. Um, you know, like I said before, the season ain't go as much well as we wanted it to be, uh, but... Um, you know, just trying to keep our heads high and, uh, you know, looking forward to the uh, Big Ten uh, tournament and looking to make a run in there because uh, I know we can do it. Our uh, defense is really, really good at times. Sometimes our offense doesn't click, but once we get our offense clicking, I feel like it's going to be good. So we're going to work on um, the things we need to work on. We're going to learn from this game and uh, just uh, try to fix those minor, uh, small things. And, uh, you know, I believe in everybody's ability to shoot on the team, so I feel like that's just going to come along. Uh, and hopefully it comes along uh, shorter, I meant earlier than later, so. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.